Okay guys, in this tutorial we're gonna talk about different data types because in Java, C Sharp, C++ we need to be extremely precise when we are creating variables. Okay, up till now we know that we must use integer when we are talking about whole numbers. So, uh, age, let's say that will be name for container, that will be our variable and the value will be let's say 50. Now that will be perfectly fine. You have here like a warning because the value of the local variable age is not used. That will be uh, removed once when you use it. So system.out is a target which is our console, our screen and we are going to use println method to print that age and now this thing will be gone it will be eliminated okay down there 50 so much uh, nothing complicated what about string a bunch of text a bunch of characters connected together well we must use string on the left side but with uppercase s what will be the name for our variable? I don't know, um, some string, let's say. And the value will be some value because I'm extremely created, uh, creative sorry, uh, with uh, values and names for variables. I absolutely hate that. Anyway, let me use this down there. Uh, we are targeting that specific string here. So some string must be printed on a screen and that will be done. There you go. The moment when you change this to S, you're going to run into problem because you cannot use a lowercase s here. Okay, uppercase s is needed. Also, question, can you use here single quotes? Well, let's test that. Single quote, single quote, run, and problem because we must use um, double quotes. So invalid character constant is, let's say, generic uh, error. Basically use double quotes for a bunch of characters and everything will be fine. Um, Sync quotes, you must use it when we are talking about individual characters. What is the data type? It is char. Uh, let's have a name for that char. I don't know, like a first at ter first letter that's a variable and on the right side we're gonna have value let's say z z can we use it down there because eclipse is complaining first letter at error and now we can use it there you go. The moment when you change single quotes to double quotes, we're gonna land ourselves into problem because we are breaking rules. There you go. So for strings use double quotes, for individual characters use single quotes. Okay, what if you wanna use some big numbers let's say well in that case you're gonna say a long long is dedicated for big numbers uh, large num is a name for variable and let's give it a something huge like a two milliards two uh billion so zero 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 okay and uh right uh, there is a warning here because we are not using it down there. So let's try to do that. I'm gonna copy paste this to save a little bit of time and target will be a large number. Will this work? It will work, but there is a lot of zeros here. So what you can do to simplify this number? Uh, actually, you can use underscores. So three last zeros and again and again and result will be fine there you go so this is for simplification to better understand that number if you have some kind of big veer number also when you're using long as a data type you can use l at the end uppercase l that will also work another thing what if you need precise numbers like uh, floats well, in that case, we are going to use float data type. Float, let's call it voltage. And let's give it a value 15, let's say, or 13. 13. Now, 
uh, we are not using it so let's use it down there that will be voltage and because of this float um, Eclipse will I mean Java will automatically add zero at the end of this whole number because this is a whole number and we are working with floats so we do care about precision let's run our script little script and there you go you see zero here okay of course you can say 13.8 volts and down there that will re be reflected oops what's happening uh, cannot convert from double to float all oh, right sorry about that here we need to say f f just like here when we are using l and now the thing will be totally fine uh, what else is interesting here well can we use negative numbers well of course uh, i don't know like this 50 will be negative 50 and then that will also work um, for characters can you use abc here connected abc that will not work because uh we are talking just about one character in a character data type so this will not work just one character must be uh, used as a value okay uh, what about these are primitive data types and uh, you have on uh, internet a lot of detailed explanation about uh, uh, on oracle websites about what kind of data types you need to use in specific cases but uh, generally uh, for, for beginners this is enough to know uh, at the moment now question is well what if we need something that is built let's say inside java well can we use date can we find date automatically with the help of our pc and programming language well actually yes but before that we need to import that option how well we are going to import java dot and we are searching for utilities util dot and we are searching date here options for date okay now uh, you don't need to use this once when you have it you just have option to use these things uh, but the moment when you want to know what date is then you will say uh, based on date create uh, variable or object this is object basically right now is your custom name for that uh, date and time at the moment how we are going to get it well we need to say a new here which is a part of java and, and you're gonna also have this in a c sharp new and date and parentheses this is how you create object so now you can work with that object you can print it for example how well simple uh, same stuff just when we are working with primitive data types integer strings characters so i'm gonna copy paste this line to get a little bit on time and uh, right now right right now this is how to get stuff with the help of java something that already exists okay let's run it and there you go at the moment it is uh this time and that date and uh yeah this year so we are going to use these things all over the place uh don't try to memorize these things especially if you know some other programming language it's it is very simple and uh, very similar to c sharp and c plus plus especially with uh, c sharp c plus plus i advise guys uh, and girls of course <laughs> to use c++ if you wanna know if you wanna learn more about pointers uh, about memory addresses uh, because all these c sharp and java languages they are like high level c++ yes it is high level but lower than java and c sharp so with the c++ you can do wonders with electronics and all these new languages like java and c sharp um with them uh, you will not dwell with electronics and memory addresses and hardware you just care about uh, results about uh, graphical interfaces uh, and such a thing c++ is a nice for a general understanding of low level things but this is not tutorial and playlist about c++ i have around 100 tutorials about that language so i'm gonna shut up here in this playlist sorry <laughs> 
in this tutorial. See you next tutorial. As always, thank you for support and subscription. Uh, every help means a lot for me and for our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next one, probably tomorrow, because four tutorials is enough for one day. Okay, so thank you and see you there.